Hey guys, Casual Chrono here. With the most recent update, we have a bunch of summons to do today. So I'm going to do that and we're going to see what I get and so forth. So basically, um, as you progress through the chapters, and there's I think uh, 92 chapters that you can do right now, the further you are, you get um, some tickets or drops or whatever. Uh, it's a catch-up mechanism. So now is an excellent time to go ahead and make progress through the story. And uh, the further you get, the more catch-up items and characters you can get. So. Uh, first of all, uh, there's a Future Force, Present Force, and Antiquity Force. Future Force is pretty much any five-star character from the future, uh, to make it short and sweet. So Present Force, well, the five-star characters from the present day. And Antiquity Force, five-star characters from Antiquity. So. Uh, you can't choose which character, uh, so we're just going to hit a lone encounter and see what happens. So, here we go, Future Force. Who's going to make an appearance today? Dupe, new character. Here we go. Melody A.S. That is awesome. I had the uh, I had the tomes and everything I needed for her. Uh, she's a staff staff or bow user. Actually, I think she might be a bow user. Uh, Melody. Okay, I got her normal. Uh, I had a four star Melody. And that raised her to five star. So that works out. I don't have to use the chance for that. And I did collect the tomes and everything I need so I can get Melody AS as well. So, so that was a good pool. All right, present force. Who is going to make an appearance from the present? Not a gold door, so a four star that can bump to a five, I guess. Yiffa. Uh, I use her a lot, but the extra light doesn't hurt. So that was nice. I would have preferred a new character, but I think I'm only missing about 10 characters total. So um, it's very likely I'll hit a dupe or a class change more than anything else. All right, and Antiquity Force. Let's see what random character I get from Antiquity. Oh, it's a five star at least. Alma. Well, I have Alma. I use Alma all the time. Uh, Alma is part, as you all probably know from watching my super boss teams, Alma is a uh, part of my primary super boss team. But that did give her some extra shadow. Uh, so she is closing in on another 15 intellect. She's less than 10 points away now. So that's nice. I do like using Alma. So those were the three totally random characters. And now I have some choices to make, I believe. I think the Kronos Empire is not a choice. I think the Kronos Empire is just a random five star from i'm not sure if it's all of the five stars or just a certain see this would be oh the lance sword fist or hammer types so i'm going to get one five star from that collection so let's see who i get oh it's a five star Annabelle. I have Annabelle. She was a staple for my water team a long time ago, uh, but I don't really use her much now. So, And if I remember reading uh, correctly, um, today is October 14th. As I'm recording this, I think October 17th is when the new content drops. 
And I think I'm going to get another drop then for the remaining four weapon types. So, all right. So now, uh, because I've progressed through the game, I have some tickets for some characters. So the first choice, do I want Subame or Sukiya? So for those of you that do follow my channel, I have what I call a farm team. And then I have my super boss teams. Now, for my farm team, uh, Subame AS, her AS style, um, has, she totally changed my game. Uh, probably about a year ago, uh, I was struggling just to defeat trash mobs. Uh, I'd eat my food long before I reached bosses. And uh, the game was just not fun. And I happened to randomly pull Subame AS. Uh, I had no idea about her abilities, but uh, basically she has uh, an attack that just attacks all monsters. And if you beef her up, and it doesn't have to be much, I, ju I just have her with Earth-type Grasta. Now I have 100% worth of Earth-type Grasta, but even at the beginning I had like three 20% Grastas for an extra 60% damage. And Subami AS made the game so much more fun and enjoyable. I didn't have to worry about trash for the most part anymore. And um, she's an excellent, excellent character. I would almost argue that if you don't have any version of Tsubame and you don't really have a farm team and you're having difficulty with trash, you might want to give a serious consideration to getting her. Um, and then like farming up the uh, treatises or whatever she needs to uh, switch to the AS style. That said, from what I understand, I don't have any form of Suhika. And she has three styles, um, I think three styles anyway, um, but she has multiple styles. I hear she's awesome for fire teams. Uh, at least one of her styles is, maybe not her base form. But um, since I don't have any form of her at all, and I do have both forms of Subame, basically it's a choice be for me between a new, brand new character or 16 light points. And I'm going to choose a brand new character every time. So uh, we're going to go with Sukiya. No surprises at all here. I finally have Suhika. And I got my little introduction speech. You too are a human entwined by fate. I am Tsukiha, princess of vengeance. Let us journey together for now. Just make sure your soul does not become enchanted by my blade. All right, so the next choice isn't really a choice at all. Everyone gets this character. Uh, you are going to get Kikio. No questions asked. I already have her, so this pool is basically, um, I think she's a shadow character, light character. She's a light character. So for me, it's just an extra 16 light points, but I'll take that. So, I mean, these are free characters. I'm not gonna complain. All right, the third uh, choice is between Yukino and Hina. Now, I have Yukino four-star. I do not have any form of Hina at all. Um, I understand Yukino at five stars, or maybe it's her AS form. Um, she's a very uh, liked character, basically. Uh, if you don't have either one of these characters, I might argue for Yukino. That said, even though I have her four star, I've never used her at all uh, in my life. But I don't have any form of Hina. Uh, so, um, as I said, if I'm given a choice between a character that I do have and a character I don't have, I'm going to go with a character I don't have and just improve my collection. So I am going to get Hina. This will probably be like the last time I see Golden Doors for like three months. My luck lately has not been good. No Yakimo, no El Seal, no Melody AS. All right, so I finally have Hina. Yay! Hina is the name I was given. As you can see, 
I am but a mere puppet. She's a puppet? There must be a reason why I am here. Oh, I'm guessing her character quests will address that. My uses are limited, but I hope I prove beneficial to your cause. All right. And then the final choice uh, between Garum Barrel and Nikoko. Uh, a little bit sad. Uh, I wasted so many stones to get Nikoko. I did eventually get her. Uh, and Garum Barrel I got from uh, just a random pull at some point. Now, Garum is a wind tank. He's not the best wind tank. I think A.S. Soira uh, can claim that title pretty easily. But if you have Sesta, if you have Melody, uh, you know, if you have a bunch of wind characters, but you don't have a wind tank at all, Garum might sort of be okay. He can uh, drop pain on monsters, so he could be a pain provider as well. But um, I've never really found him terribly useful as a tank. Um, so... Nikoko, uh, I used quite a lot. I do not have her AS style, which is uh, a very strong character, uh, despite having um, had her for a long time. Uh, but even Nikoko by herself uh, is a really good character. Uh, I have had her actually on my Earth team uh, for a long time. And really, it's only been with recent characters like Sesta and the, the super, super overpowered characters lately, where I really haven't been using Nikoko as much either. So for me, it's a choice between two characters I already own. I pretty much never use Garum. And I think if I got Nikoko AS style, I'd probably use her more. So I think the bonus light points um, would be more beneficial towards Nikoko. And the last gold door I'll probably see for a long, long time. Hi, Nikoko. 16 more points. All right. And there's a few other encounters right now. Uh, there's Twin Destinies Encounters, which is paid, but I'm a free-to-play player. Fateful Encounter, again, requires paid stones, paid stones, paid stones, paid stones. All right. So, um, one time only, brilliant encounter. I glance at this and I see a lot of really, really overpowered characters. Um, and so Sesta, of course, I have, and she's extremely powerful. Uh, you've seen her basically chew through so many super bosses uh, on my channel. Uh, Manalka, I'm still figuring out, but I have her, I have Ify, I don't have Yakimo, and I don't have El Seal. So when I saw this banner, I got really excited. I'm like, wow, it's like a two-fifths chance maybe that I could get one of them. But when I checked the details, no, it's a, it's a pull for pretty much literally any four or five star character. Um, so there's no preference given to any particular character. And it looks like even some chances for uh, some of the bots and everyone, the little three stars. So... Um, basically you get 10 pulls on the 10th pull, you get a four star character that can change into a five star or a five star character. So I'm not really sure if this one is worth my stones. I only have 4,000 stones and I know there's a, a really powerful thunder user coming up very soon. So this banner lasts for a week. I might pull... I really don't know yet. It is a 10 pull, so there's always a chance that I get more than one helpful character. But um, I don't know. To me, I'm not so sure it's worth it with such few stones. If I had like maybe 10,000 or 20,000 stones, I'd be more inclined to. But this Thunder character coming up is uh, supposedly really powerful. So, And then all the other uh, current banners are um, the same ones they've had for a while. So... All right, so I think I'm going to stop with that. Uh, I might do... I have pulled the Whisper of Salt a few times now. Uh, so maybe right before the 20th, I'll see what else I can get through it. And then maybe I'll just test my luck uh, with this one. But uh, overall, I have two new characters, Suika and Hina. 
and I got some more light points and shadow points for some characters I do use. So uh, overall, not bad and um, pretty happy overall with the way it turned out. Oh yeah, and I get some uh, chrono stones for having some new characters. Yeah, I got 20 more stones. So I hope your pulls uh, go well. And now is a great time to advance in the chapters. Uh, the further you get by, I believe, the end of 2023, you have about two and a half months to get as far as you can in the main storyline. And the further you get, the more options you'll have for some characters. So uh, get cracking um, and good luck. Casual Chrono, signing out.